is Devon Brown here again with another No BS Dating Success Tip for you. And as always, be sure to check out my site, howtogetamannow.com for more dating and tips and advice. And, and you can tell your girlfriends about it and just go check it out. And also be sure to check out the uh, dating quiz on the site entitled The Seven Self-Sabotaging Behaviors uh, That Keep Women From Finding Mr. Right. You can actually go to the site, take the dating quiz, and um, find out if you're committing any of the seven common mistakes that women often make. Uh, so, um, today what I want to talk to you about is this idea of Mr. Right. I had a, a friend of mine, a girlfriend of mine, email me the other day, and we, we were in agreement, but we were having this conversation about the idea of Mr. Right. So, what I want you to understand is that very often we, we think of our perfect mate, our perfect match, as an ideal, as somebody who is quote-unquote perfect. And often what we'll do, and the advice that you often get, is to make a list of everything you want in a mate, right? And search for somebody who meets this criteria. Have you heard that before, Tara? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you make a list of everything that you want in a mate, and this is your, everything you write down, that is your perfect mate. That is the, your perfect match. That is the, 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 your perfect guy, right? Um, so you make this list, and then what happens is you start dating and you start comparing guys to this list, and the second that somebody doesn't meet one of these criteria, you, you say, oh, you're not my perfect match, and you send them about your way. You're not Mr. Right, because Mr. Right would have and meet all of these criteria. But what I want to tell you is that you need to stop doing that, okay? Because it's not about somebody being perfect. It's about somebody being perfect for you. I agree with saying that you should have a list, but the list should be a guideline. And on that list, you can have... You should have must-haves, should-haves, and can live without. Those lists, the list should be divided into things that you cannot live without and things that you can live without. For example, um, my best friend and his wife. Um, his wife is taller than him. And on his wife's list, and I've actually heard uh, this conversation before. We were all at a bar not too long ago when we were having this conversation. Um, she said, he's too short for me. The wife is like 5'9", and my buddy is like 5'7". And on her list, one of the things at the top of her list is tall, 5'10", or above, preferably over 6 feet. But my buddy's 5'7", and they ended up falling in love, and they have a kid, and they've got a second one on the way, and they got married. So here's my point. You can have your list. But number one, as I've already said, make sure that you divide the list into must-haves, things that you cannot live without, right? Things like uh, maybe trustworthiness or honesty, th things of that nature. And then you should have things that are ideal, but you can live without. You've got to be able to, I don't want to call it a sacrifice, it, it, you've got to be able to leave yourself open for something better. Which brings me to the second thing about lists. At the bottom of your list, you should put the following words. I want a guy with all of these traits and or something better. And the and or something better leaves it open to you finding somebody that could have everything that you never knew that you always wanted. I'm going to say that again. Very often, in unlikely places, we find everything we never knew we always wanted. That's actually a line from a movie with um, Matthew, what's Matthew Perry? Is that the guy from Friends, Tara? Oh, I don't know. Uh, you don't watch Friends? Mm -mm. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't watch you. Uh, uh, I haven't in a couple okay, years. I think it's Matthew Short Perry. Short-term memory. And, yeah, I think it's Matthew <laughs> oh. Perry and Zelma Hyatt. Uh, we're, we're in a movie where... Um, they were, you know, from two different sides of the train tracks, figuratively speaking, or some crap like that. Anyway, long story short, there's a line in the movie at the end where he says, you are everything I never knew I always wanted. In other words, he had his list, and she, and so much of what she was, wasn't on this list. So the problem is, the thing is that if you, if you confine yourself to what's only on this list, you could be missing out on a great guy. So stop looking for everything to be perfect as you see it and let things be art and kind of be, 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 be fluid. Be willing to go. Be willing to bend a little bit. Be willing to be open to things that you would have never been open to before because you never know what you're going to find that you absolutely love. There's, um, I remember my last girlfriend, uh, she had things that I would have never in a million years thought to put on my list, but she had things that were just absolutely amazing and... Um, they weren't on my list. And if I had just stuck to this list, I would have missed out on, at the time, it was a, was a, great, a, a, a great individual that, that added a lot to my life. Now, forget you, she's a, whatever. But, 
Uh, but, um, <coughs> but, uh, but, 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 but in all seriousness, you, Mr. Right is not Mr. Perfect. He's the guy that's right for you, and you're not going to know if he's right for you if you don't give him a chance. So don't let everything be perfect. Don't wait for everything to be perfect. Have your list as a guideline, but don't be so rigid and stuck to it. Right? And be open to other things. Right? Um, make sense, Tara? Yeah, that's great. Okay, cool. So hopefully you ladies found this tip helpful. I want you to find Mr. Right. I do, and just understand that, that, that I, and by the way, go and make a list of the things that you want in the guy. If you haven't done that, make a list, use it as a guideline. But again, at the bottom of that list, put this or something better, so we leave ourselves open to finding not the guy who is perfect, but the guy who is perfect for you. So on that note, this is Devon Brown. Be sure to check out HowToGetAManNow.com and um, tell your friends about it. Hopefully you found this tip helpful. If so, pass this video on, and I will catch you guys later. Have a great day.